welcome back to my channel thank you very much for stopping by so today i'm going to be illustrating how to cut this beautiful skirt so as you well know you're going to be cutting on fold so assuming this is your fabric and this is your center front you're going to be bringing out a fold based on the largest portion of your body which is your hip side your hip circumference divided by four and you're going to be marking one of it on this side of the skirt so without further ado let's get into the tutorial so the first thing you're going to do is to take your waist measurement to your hip measurement also so since this skirt has a waistband we're going to be removing the waistband from the measurement that we're going to be creating which is about two inches so you're going to be removing one and a half inch from the measurement of the full length of your skirt from your waist to your knee length or wherever you desire the skirt to land so here you're going to go ahead and mark your hip line eight and a half inches for a normal size medium size then a plus size you can mark nine inches then you mark the full length of your skirt so the next thing you're going to do is to make a horizontal line across those marks you made and as you can see i've done that already and i've labeled it now the next thing for you to do now is to start putting in your measurements starting with your waist measurement divided by four plus one inch for your dart allowance then you are going to use the same formula to mark your hip measurement the circumference of your hip divided by four then at the knee line or under the knee line here you're going to remove one and a half inch from whatever your hip line divided by four gives you to have a pencil skirt but if you want something that will be freer you can just remove one inch from one quarter of your hip measurement if you're a plus size please remove only half inch since the tie may be as equally same size with the hip so you're going to connect these lines together you connect with a curve ruler or a hip cuff or your french curve but i'm for the sake of the beginners here i'm going to be using only my ruler to achieve this so at this point you're going to level this area to avoid sharp points so now you're going to be putting your dart for your skirt and from the center front you're going to be measuring four inches in then you're going to mark in the length of your dart usually you can mark seven inches or less so you're going to be taking out that of the waistband considering the waistband then you mark your measurement down once you're done doing that you can make a line across it then from the waistline you can then extend the dart line then you can mark half inch across the leg of the dart and then you can connect these lines together once you're done doing that you're almost done with the front side of your skirt basic skirt then you're going to add your seam allowances to these lines and then connect it together don't forget also to add your hemming allowances too so i'm just going to go ahead and do that also make sure you like and subscribe to my channel share my videos Thank you guys for your support so far i also appreciate some of you that have been asking after me since i've taken too much break out of youtube i really appreciate you so now that i've cut off the front panel of the skirt i'm going to use this to cut out the back side of our basic skirt as you can see here i've marked out two inches here for my zip allowance right here and for the slits also and this is the center back then I'm going to place my front panel across that two inches zip allowance. I'm going to trace this on the same paper and I'm going to cut it out 
and once you're done doing that you should apply the dart to behind the skirts and every other measurement now if you're done with this we're going to go over to the next level which is to cut out the swag in front of the front panel of our skirt so here you're going to get a piece of fabric like this and then place your front panel of your skirt trace out the sides like so once you're done tracing it out the next thing for you to do also is to tick the center front and the center of the skirt trace out the sides of the skirt like this make sure you indicate the center front and the center back at the knee level like so i also indicated where my dots are because it will help us for indication of where to mark next then at the other side of the dart, which is the right side of the dart, right side of the skirt, the right there, you're going to place your tape measure on your skirt like this. Then you're going to find the mid part of the skirt, the mid part of the length. Once you've got that, you can give it a tick. Then from there, you're going to measure down two inches or two and a half inches downwards from that midpoint. Once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is to connect this dot line down to that point. Then the next thing for you to do now is to go on the knee line from the center front of the knee line like this you're going to mark in about two and a half to three inches in towards the side seam like so then the next thing for you to do now is to connect these points together like this now we're going to be extending that same left side of the bottom part of our skirt with about two to three inches longer like this you can always modify these measurements to your test it all depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so make sure you're not restricted by any of these measurements I'm indicating. You can try your hands on a lot of measurements and see which is best for you. Then you're going to connect these lines like this. Then at the side seam also, you're going to extend this line to meet the other point. Then you connect it, bearing in mind that that hemming allowance of the front seam still applies to this point so the next thing you're going to do now after doing this is to add your seam allowance at this point because you're going to be interfacing you're going to be sewing an interface to it from this point downwards so you add your seam allowance you can add like half inch seam allowance or more depending on how comfortable you are sewing it so now we are done with cutting this i'm going to be showing you what next to do then from this point here you're going to be marking about two inches or one and a half inch away from the dot from the left side like this you're going to be marking around two inches from there or one and a half inch then you're going to be folding it in from the break point we made before below the midpoint of the length of our skirt like this if you're looking at it like this it's now looking like a lapel of a jacket so that's the essence so the next thing we are going to consider now is the placement as you can see now we are almost done with this skirt pattern but the next thing we are going to consider to see that this point is touching the side seam but if you want to take it in a little bit more the trick is that you're going to remove some measurements right here 
modify it by removing some few inches right here and you're going to be taking it in but if you want to leave it like this you can equally leave it like that is equally a style of its own then if you want to add also you can equally add feel free to experiment as much as you want to make sure your work is original so i'm going to be slicing off a bit from it so that you see the difference it makes when you slice off or when you add more to it so as you can see i'm going to be chopping this off and we'll see the results now that i've chopped this off right there i'm going to be folding it like i did before and then replace it like so as you can see it's no longer getting to the sizing that much so as soon as you sew your interface to it it's going to become shorter as well so bear that in mind so now assuming you have finished doing the sewing the side seam and you've added your button this is what it's going to look like then i'm going to do another modification here since after sewing the dart of my skirt i'm going to be having some excesses on the lapping part of it i'm going to remove this from the side seam of our overlapping skirt but you can leave this later on while sewing you can remove like three quarters of an inch from the side seam from right here you can just chop it up from the pattern or while sewing it after sewing the dart and you match it you can trace it from there on from this point down to the hip line and that is all so the next thing you're going to be doing after doing this is to make sure that all patterns are set ready and you're good to go so that is pretty much it then the next thing you're going to be doing here is to make the waistband of your skirt I have a tutorial already on how to sew the waistband of a skirt and how to measure and cut it sewing putting interface and the rest of it so I'm going to be putting the link down below this video so that you go and check it out. If you want to know how to join this skirt also and how to make this beautiful waistband that balances well with the curve of the skirt waist like this perfectly, not a straight line waistband, make sure you check out the link down below the description box for the video. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in my next tutorial.